And it's uh, their position on immigration that first brought UKIP to widespread public uh, of attention. It's certainly running very powerfully now. Birmingham is one of the most mixed cities in the world, a real melting pot for migrants from right across the globe. It's estimated something like 22,000 migrants from countries including Poland and Romania have come to Birmingham and the black country since 2011, making the city the youngest city in Europe with 40% of its population under the age of 25. For many years, politicians shied away from talking about immigration for fear of being branded racist, but it's certainly a defining issue this time. Our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, has been granted access to a school in Birmingham that's right at the heart of this diversity debate. In the build-up to this election, immigration has often hit the headlines. Fears, not always facts, dominate, but concerns over jobs, the impact on schools and services, the sheer number of people arriving, an increase of more than half a million nationally over the last three years. At Ark Tyndall Primary School in Borsal Heath, you can see the changing face of Birmingham. Five and there, five and there. So if we put them together... In the past, pupils came from families originally from the Commonwealth. David is five years old and one of 44 Eastern European children attending the school. His father came here two years ago. He's working full time, but he's worried about those headlines about Romanian migrants. It's very, very, very hard for, to listen bad things from, about Romanian because they come here from poor life to good life and uh, they're looking for a good life for his families, for more for their children. When, when we talk about diversity as a parent and carer... This support that? class run by the school is one of the first of its kind in the country. The parents come from the Middle East, Somalia, as well as Pakistan and India. We learned about uh, diversity, how to respect each other, how to talk to each other, how to listen to each other. I do believe immigration is something that people are worried about. And we have equality here. Everybody's allowed to be who they want to be and worship what they want to worship. And some of these people come from countries where they're not allowed to be who they want to be. Having so many cultures and religions mixing in the playground, is it harder for parents and children to get on? What we're trying to do is actually get, for example, Somalian ladies to mix with white British, the Arabic community to mix with the Romanian parents, and it's working really well. We're very proud at Ark Tyndall that we have this set up here. This map of the world shows just some of the countries that children have originally come from. This school can hear up to 32 different languages spoken on a daily basis. But does that make it more difficult for the school to get good grades and results? It actually doesn't impact on the attainment. It brings a richness to the school where children actually enjoy learning, are really focused on learning because they understand the importance of learning English and doing well in their subjects. Vicky grew up in Staffordshire, now living in Birmingham. Her son has been a pupil here for five years. The school refers to her as white British, but she's in the minority. I feel like, oh my gosh, everyone's looking at me, but now I think it's, you know... Looking at you because you're different. white. Different, yeah, because I'm white and different sort of thing. But I think now, I think the parents have got more understanding of, like, diversity, and I think everybody looks at each other and says, we're all the same. The school is doing well. 10% of its pupils now come from Eastern Europe. Birmingham's super diversity is a reality here. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Borsal Heath, Birmingham. So Patrick, immigration is clearly still a big issue on the doorstep and UKIP are making most of the running on it. What exactly are they saying at this stage about it? Well, they say, Nick, that it's uh, Britain's continued membership of the EU that dictates what they call an open-door policy. So the answer is simple, get out of the EU. And what are the positions of the other main parties on it? Well, the free movement of people around Europe is one of the main renegotiation points that, for the Conservatives, David Cameron hopes to re renegotiate and put to the country in a referendum in 2017 or earlier. 
Labour proposed an immigration bill which would include more stringent exit checks. That would be one of the key elements for the Liberal Democrats as well. And the Lib Dems would also take students out of those immigration target numbers. Patrick, thank you. It's 18 minutes to seven. This is our top story tonight.